Okay everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Beautiful Joe. Before we take on the final boss, I'm just gonna buy a couple of things because... Uh... <laughs> let's just say... I'm not the very best at... Well, you've seen my fight with Fire Leon. Anyways... Um... Yeah, so um... It's cutscene time, so I'll shut up now. Consequential do heroes look from where I stand? Hey, what is this? Captain Blue, enemy of evil, guardian of the world, the guy who gave us the courage to... Why, Captain Blue? Guardian of the world? <laughs> what does that mean? No matter how many villains I knocked down, this world will not last. No, I'm going after the real world where my powers will mean something. I'll rule the entire Earth, and then I can exact revenge on you people who confined us to this fleeting, transient world of movies. Humans who just create things and then throw them away when they're bored and done with them. Just like so much tissue paper. What are you going to do to Sylvia? <laughs> this boy, you still don't get it, do you? I am the creator. I made this film and everything in it. Sylvia, I am your father, Sylvia. That's not true. Mama told me my daddy died. Sylvia, deep down you should know the truth by now. The same blood courses through our veins. In a way, it is true that your father has died. In his place stands the master of the world, the all-powerful controller of light and dark. Me, King Blue! Captain, uh, King Blue, you used to be cool. Now, you're nothing but a loser. I'm gonna show you what it means to be a true hero. Go ahead. I will snap your foolish and your ideals in Okay, and now we're going to fight King Blue in pretty much Gurn Lagan, if you <laughs> if you watch closely. Okay, yeah, uh, all right. Look at this. I mean, you just like okay, really, you're gonna rip them off that much? I didn't notice it at the very beginning, but when I when I we saw the footage of um the very first episode. It's totally girl and Lagan. <laughs> I mean, come on. I mean, I know it's a popular show and everything, but really? I mean, the whole head in the middle thing and then head on top? <sighs> Whatever. What do you do? And so we we'll begin our fucking king. Um. My very first uh, time I played this game, this guy was pretty much the. Bane of my existence. Next to King King. Next to Fire Leo. Honestly, you know, Fire Leo was tougher. 
technically because it took me a longer time to beat him because I didn't know what the hell. Um, but you know, this is this guy's tough if you don't know what, what his tricks are. But you know, I'm a, I'm a seasoned veteran, so I, I know everything that he's gonna do. Damn it, burps. I'm, I'm sorry about all that background noise. I'll, I'll try to cut it out. If I'm not lazy. Oh, oh, anyways, um, another thing is... They, I, to I told you guys that this stage was total Star Wars ripoff. In the back, you see that freaking thing that looks like a Star Wars ship. And also, um... What's this stage? King Blue, or Captain Blue. Which, I mean, who didn't see this coming? Honestly. But anyway, like, um, King Blue. He's a total rip off Darth Vader. <laughs> Let's face it. Um, that whole, you know it to be true thing. The Sylvia, I mean, come on. Now, the only thing here is that. The only thing that would have made it even creepier would have been if Joe was casting Blue Sun somehow. But then it's like, yeah, what are you doing out with your sister? But, um, no, that didn't happen, thank God. Um, man, I'm, I'm doing a number on this guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah. See, those, those things totally look like TIE Fighters, I'm serious. It's super surreal, guys. No, but um, but um, but um, and so I'll probably put in that sound effect. <laughs> that doesn't really belong in, you know, the dun dun dun, when they show Captain Blue or whatever. Because it, it doesn't really belong there because everyone saw this coming, you know. I mean, he's sort of testing your metal when he fights you and stuff. So it's kind of like, you know, I can kind of see this guy being the final boss. Since he, he never really explained why he's really helping us. But anyway, this, this boss is a piece of cake. Um, compared to King Leo. All I have to do is wait for if you if you learn his pattern, it's extremely easy to destroy him. Especially oh well I don't, don't want to spoil that, but um Yeah, but um if you learn his pattern, he's exceptionally easy. First time players may have like I don't know. Maybe you lose to him like three or two times. You know. Actually, I heard that in, um, Adult, he's like, extra hard or whatever, but from, all, from what I've seen of Adult, it's not that hard. So yeah. Wow, really? <laughs> that was kind of a stupid attack right there. If you saw he aimed his lightning bolt that went across, it was like super high up there, that was really stupid. And we're almost done with this boss, guys. Man. You know, to think that, you know, this game is probably taking me longer than any other game to finish. But to be honest, it, it wasn't all my fault. Even though a lot of it was me procrastinating, it wasn't all my fault. Breaking a couple of times, it was my computer just dying and not wanting to help me. <laughs> and a couple other times, it was just dabbling a bit. Um, but I want to make a few things. And King Blue is done. On anything. <laughs> I've never taken taken no damage from that boss, so you know it's kind of tough for me to just be like, hey, I don't know what I'm missing.
Oh uh, yeah, now we're fighting the real deal, Captain Blue. Who, in my opinion, is way easier than the than King Blue. Oh my god, dude! If I don't take a hit from this boss, I'm just gonna be like, wow. Oh man, can't take. God damn airplane. I'll, I'll try to cut this out guys, I swear to god. But um... Yeah, I mean look at him, he's just, he's just taking it right now. He doesn't even know what's happening. <laughs> oh, double knockout. Damn that means fight. Oh, Captain Blue is about to freaking lose. He wishes he had my skill. Look at this. Oh! Ooh. Finished. And we're done, son. That's that's it. Oh, beautiful. But anyway, that's it, guys. The rest of this is just cutscene, so I guess I'll just leave it for the game to talk for itself. All right, guys. Bye. Oh, and I'll see you in my next LP. Twenty years ago, I was hailed as the most revolutionary movie maker of my time. But it was just a fad, and I was soon forgotten. All I ever wanted to do was to create heroes. True heroes the world needed. And as if to answer my prayers, I was sucked into one of my films. And I was given the opportunity to live the life of a hero. I lost touch with reality. I forgot about my wife and daughter. I was too busy living out my fantasies. But little by little, the seed of evil had begun to sprout in my heart. Desire for revenge against the people who had betrayed me flared up and... Daddy? Forgive me, Sylvia. I was wrong. Daddy, don't be silly. You could have abandoned your ideals and ended up disillusioned and hollow like an empty shell. At least you followed your dream. I thought it was a great movie. Just think of all the fans waiting for your next production. You can't disappoint them. Oh, Sylvia. Look, Blue. Everybody loves a happy ending. Wait a minute. Wasn't I supposed to be the main character here? Ah, uh, yes. But there's more to this story. Warning, warning. Large numbers of UFO troops detected closing into Earth. Motivation, world domination. Missile fired. 60 seconds to impact. Oh, whoa. That doesn't sound good. What did you do, Captain? Like I said, there's more to this story. There's two more times when Earth will be in danger. And each time, a hero must stand up to defend it. Wow, 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 what did you say? Did you say two more times? <laughs> That's right. But I'm the director, so trust me on this one, yeah? Although I admit there was a slight change in the plot. But it doesn't matter now. The world has a new young hero called Beautiful Joe to protect them. Show them again how a hero is supposed to be. I guess you're right. Well, then I guess I should be going now. Wait for me. Daddy, I'm going too. What? Are you out of your mind? Look at it this way. Ever since coming to this world, I haven't done anything. Come on, there might be a hero in me too, you know. So, Daddy, can I have a V-Watch, please? You can do this, right? You're the big director. Well, uh... <sighs> hmm. 
Looks like the party's about to begin any minute now. But you know, in the movies... There always has to be a plot twist. That means that things always go wrong once before you get to the happy ending. Isn't that right, Joe? Ha! <laughs> That's my girl. This is where the story really starts getting interesting. Come on, partner. Leave this to... Joe and Sylvia! Sylvia!